everyone excellent evening everyone we are all welcome to this evening's broadcast today we are going to be looking at the best foods the best snacks the best nigerian foods actually for controlling diabetes best food best snacks and the best nigerian foods you can use to control diabetes welcome 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 well, welcome to this evening's broadcast I'm going to share this on my page and then we get going today. We are all welcome. Welcome, welcome. And happy new week. Happy new week to every one of us. Happy new week to every one of us. How are we doing? I hope our week is good. I hope our week is great. Um, I hope this will allow me to share it well on my pages. Welcome, welcome to everyone of us. If you're alive, you can say hello so I can welcome you to this evening's broadcast. Welcome, welcome to every one of us. If you're alive, just say good evening and I'll welcome you to this evening's broadcast. I can see four people online already. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Trying to make sure everyone will join today. No excuse. Who is live already? Say good afternoon and I will welcome you to this afternoon's broadcast. And I hope we're also sharing with our friends. Share in group. welcome 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 who is online let me greet her. i can see seven people <laughs> even though i'm still trying to share to everyone sharing to the last page now all right so let me see those who are online hello uh he is victor you're welcome welcome joy joy it's been a while how are you welcome to this afternoon's broadcast Hello, Jane Destiny. You're welcome. You're welcome. 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 Welcome, Etam Marian. You're welcome. Welcome. Okay, I can see us now. Welcome, every one of us. Today, we are going to be looking at some food, snacks, and Nigerian dishes that are good for diabetes. Hello, Ijoma. You're welcome. Welcome. Welcome to this evening's broadcast. It's actually evening already. You know, when we have uh, people who have diabetic, you know, trying to figure out, even not even only people who are diabetic, if you have one issue or the other, figuring out the kind of food, the best food that you can eat, you know, can actually be difficult at times. But because, you know, for people who have diabetes, their main goal is to control the sugar level. And so trying to find out which food do I use that can control the level that will not make it go too high or go too low because either is bad. Hello, it is Jay, you're welcome. So, but it's also important to eat food that help prevent diabetes, especially even if you don't have it. And that's why this um, broadcast is very, very important for everyone. Whether you have diabetes or you don't have diabetes, it's very, very important for you to actually make sure that you eat well. So that, especially when you are at middle age, it's very, very easy for one to slide to being diabetic. You know, when you go for tests, the doctors will always say that your sugar level is at the borderline. So you need to be able to know the food, the best food that can help prevent diabetes complications. And also, you know, diabetes and those who already have diabetes in controlling the sugar, you also need to know the food to eat so that you don't have all those complications that come with diabetes. Hello, Deborah. You're welcome. Welcome, Irene. Chuku, welcome. Glory Akman, welcome. Ifi Ibo, you're welcome from UK. Welcome, Princess. Ifi, thank you. Thank you for the thumbs up. I'm very, very grateful. You know, your diet can have a major role in preventing and managing diabetes. Very, very major role. Even 
if other sicknesses are not um, so much diet inclined and diet um, determined diabetes ulcers are one of those and even overweight there are those three ailments because overweight and obesity is an ailment they are actually one of the part of the the ailments and diseases and sicknesses you just have to be very very careful about what you eat hello pastor evely you're welcome it's been a while <laughs> princess thank you for sharing god bless you please share share princess and let her share first please share and let every one of us really share because we all need this any of your friend that is middle age we need to go through this today's teaching and training together let's rub minds together let me show you some of the things i have found that can also help you you know i'm going to be looking at like 16 best foods 15 best snacks up to 50 nigerian foods and makeup that you can use you know and um, make up you know all the diets and the rest for diabetes and of course you know that the book on diabetes is going to be coming out last week of this month actually the last saturday of this month you know and the book of also is still on sale i'm still doing sales i'll soon take it off sales so you can buy the also book arthritis book menopause book I have books on all these you know issues that you can actually buy and make sure you read and you're okay hello oluwa let me see you're welcome fumilayo you're welcome welcome to this afternoon's broadcast so let's quickly um, run through the 16 best food internationally this food can be found internationally then we look at 16 snacks that can also be found internationally and then we come home to nigeria and look at about 20 foods make up foods that we can actually eat as nigerians i'll tell you how you can prepare them that will actually help you to stay away from diabetes prevent diabetes control and manage diabetes and then also help to prevent complications that come from diabetes so welcome let's move on let's move on so you know i had already said that figuring out what you eat will be a, a, an issue the first major food that can help control diabetes, that can help prevent secondary um, ailments and diseases from coming when you have diabetes is fatty fish. You know, some people consider fatty fish to be one of the healthiest food in the planet Earth. <laughs> like salmon, sardine, herring, anchovies, mackerel, trout. You know, they are very good and very, very beautiful sources of omega-3 fatty acid and omega-3 fatty acids have been found to have major benefits on for health for heart health they have very major benefits for heart health that's omega-3 hey i hope um network will mind itself today <laughs> it's okay <laughs> so getting enough of these um fats omega-3 fatty acids which you can get from salmon, which you can get from mackerel, which you can get from, from you know, anchovies and the rest, you know. If you get them on a regular basis, it's especially important for you, especially if you have diabetes, it will prevent heart, you know, diseases coming off because of the diabetes. It will also prevent arthritis. It will also manage and help, you know, you to, your sugar level to be okay. It will actually, actually help also reduce the risk of heart diseases and also stroke hello adobe you're welcome welcome mercy i'm doing good mercy i'm really really ah looking good <laughs> i'm doing good though, but i had a little stressful weekend i traveled to owere on thursday and i had to come back on sunday and i had meetings back to back you know as i left <laughs> so looking great thank god though so well if you actually you, you you actually need omega-3 fatty acid like i said you need it very very well because they will help you to prevent secondary diseases like stroke like heart diseases why because omega-3 fatty acid protects the cell that line your blood vessels and then they re reduce the markers of inflammation and they also help to improve the ways your artery the way your arteries you know function now if you can't get omega omega-3 fatty acid is very very important in fact when i was in germany most times it was salmon fish i used to cook we ate salmon fish almost every day you know either for breakfast or we 
took it for our second meal of the day or we just ate it as snacks and if you can't get omega-3 fatty fish like salmon like mackerel like um sardines then you can go ahead and get uh um active c a forever active c is omega-3 natural fish and calamari oil with olive oil it's very very fantastic i keep forgetting to come with my water and um the experiment i usually do for people i just pray i remember it next time i come online to show you why and how important what i'm holding in my hands can help remove every form of blockages on your arteries and veins help you to actually sweep through so they are also they are very very important then the second remember we're looking at the 16 international food that we help control diabetes that we help prevent diabetes and we help prevent secondary diseases that come from diabetes thank you for the thumbs up thank you for the love i appreciate i appreciate love you all the second set of food is the leafy green vegetables they are extremely nutritious and they are very low in calories you know they are also low in digestible carbohydrates or carbohydrates absorbed by the body so they won't actually have any effect on your blood sugar leafy green vegetables they have carbo but those carbs are not digested by the absorbed by the body directly they are actually called complex carbs hello <laughs> salmon fish is known as salmon fish they sell them in some supermarkets i see them in shop right i see them like in lagos they have in osata and then i have one of my downline that also now you know they deal with all these fishes so she sells salmon fish too so their name is salmon fish anywhere they don't have i don't know if they have african name or hello lydia you're welcome 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 so leafy green vegetables are very very important like spinach kale for those of you who are outside ogu ewedu tete shoko you know and other leafy greens they are very good sources of many vitamins and minerals including vitamin c and you know some evidences suggested you know that people with diabetes have lower vitamin c level than people without diabetes and may also have greater vitamin c requirement so people with diabetes require more vitamin c than those without diabetes and that's why these green leafy vegetables are very very important but remember what i always tell you don't kill your vegetables before you eat them a lot of people they are making soup they will put vegetable on fire and it will cook for 5 10 15 20 minutes it's no more vegetables so you've killed all the nutrients you've killed all the minerals you've killed all the vitamins in it leafy green vegetables can be used for smoothies if they can be like ogu i do smoothies with ogu i go i do i do smoothies with a lot of green vegetables in fact after all my studies when i'm cooking bitter leaf soup myself i don't allow the bitter leaf to boil for so long just for a little while so that you can still taste that fresh bitter leaf you know and it's still very very nice so vitamin c acts as a potent antioxidant and also has anti-inflammatory you know quality so if you are diabetic please try to take your leafy green vegetables hello and and you're welcome welcome chinenye welcome favor we are all welcome to this evening's broadcast and we look at some foods snacks and nigerian foods that you can use to control manage and prevent diabetes hello ajuluchuku you're also welcome to this evening's broadcast so we have already said fatty omega-3 fatty acid leafy green vegetables the third one is avocados avocado has less than one gram of sugar few carbohydrates a high fiber content and it has healthy fat so you don't have to worry about them raising your blood sugar avocado is very good for people who are diabetic use avocado as your salad cream replacement use avocado as your margarine replacement when you're eating your bread you know because avocado consumption is also associated with improved overall diet quality and significantly lower body weight you know and body mass in there so for people who are who want to lose weight remember overweight is one of the significant and primary causes of diabetes especially for people from their middle age and type 2 diabetes so avocado will help you you know control your weight help you control your sugar level you know this makes them I, avocados are ideal snacks for people with diabetes especially 
because obesity increases your chance of developing diabetes. Hello, Suzanne. Thank you for the love. Thank you. Welcome, Ifi Madweke. Welcome, welcome. You're welcome to this evening's broadcast. All right. So number four are eggs. Eggs provide amazing health benefits. In fact, they are one of the best food for keeping you full and satisfied in between meals. Regular egg consumption may also reduce your heart disease risk in many ways. Egg dec decreases inflammation, improves insulin sensitivity, increases your high density lipoprotein, that is the good cholesterol level, and then it modifies the size and shape of your low density lipoprotein, that is the bad cholesterol. So eggs are very, very important. Another important food, which they, they have a lot abroad is chai seeds. They are wonderful food for people with diabetes. And some, some supermarkets in Nigeria and some African countries also carry chai seeds. They are extremely high in fiber and very low in digestible carbs. In fact, 11 of the 12 grams of carb in 28 grams, you know, serving of chai seeds are fiber, you know, and it doesn't raise blood sugar level so that gives you an idea of the kind of snacks you should take snacks with very high fiber hello Fola Adeoye you're welcome to this evening's broadcast welcome peace Yanka welcome Ogriki you're welcome to this evening's broadcast you know vicious fiber in chai seed can actually lower your blood sugar levels by slowing down the rate at which food moves through your gut and it's also absorbed. In fact, we, we have um, one product in Forever Living that is called Gin I always recommend Gin for people with diabetes, especially who, people with diabetes that um, are having energy issues that they, because it's part of it, that they're always feel, feeling very tired. Because chai seed help you to achieve a healthy weight because the fiber reduces your hunger and then makes you feel food full and the chai seed also help to maintain your glycemic management you know especially for people with diabetes so it's very very important the sixth food that you must put in your diet if you have diabetes is beans all forms of beans hello glory thank you for the thumbs up loretta you're welcome joy you're welcome yes you know let me tell us something somebody is asking that someone with um, cholesterol that can you take eggs Eggs are, is when you're taking eggs over much that you begin to talk about cholesterol. In fact, some studies have shown that the cholesterol in egg is not bad. I don't want to be saying things that are, you know, controversial. But I know that egg is good. Egg is very, very good. Even if your cholesterol is high, if you take like one egg a day, it's not going to actually raise that cholesterol like that. Hello, Tony. Good day. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you too, Tony love you Uju, you're welcome 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 so i'm saying beans are cheap beans are nutritious and beans are super healthy wow this is one of my best food <laughs> you know beans are a type of legume rich in b vitamins very beneficial minerals like calcium potassium magnesium and they are high in fiber. They also have a very low glycemic index, which is important for managing diabetes. Beans may also help to prevent diabetes, actually. So if you're, they tell you you're at your border level, you know, of diabetes, your sugar, when the doctors are talking, make sure you go on a lot of beans. Hello, Luya Missy. Eh? Eh, you can you can remove the egg yolk if they say egg yolk is the one that has cholesterol. You take plenty of the white, you know, especially but boiled egg are very good for snacks. We're going to be seeing that. Hello, Paul Modupe, you're welcome. Benedicta, you're welcome. Welcome to this evening's broadcast. Ngozi, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Joy, Joy says she likes beans like kilo day. In fact, <laughs> I love this. Not just like I really, really like this. Okay. We are in the same um, shoe. Joy. Hello, Vesseline. You're welcome. Welcome, 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 Vesseline. So eat be beans, all sorts of beans, kidney beans, brown beans, white beans, whatever beans they call it. There are so many of them. We are going to be seeing some today. Eat all of them. Then yogurt, Greek yogurt is a great dairy choice for people with diabetes. If you have diabetes, go on Greek yogurt. You know, some research suggests that eating certain dairy products like yogurt may improve blood sugar management and actually reduce your heart 
um, disease risk, you know, especially also because of the probiotic that it contains. Probiotic is very, very important with people with diabetes, people with ulcer, people with heart disease. And like I told us, Forever has the best probiotic with six very important strains of probiotic. Fantastic. This probiotic is one of the best products that anyone with diabetes, anyone with ulcer can give to herself or to himself. And even with... Um, heart issues you know because that's why they say people should go on greek yogurt because the probiotic contains in it can help reduce heart disease you know the risk of heart diseases <laughs> loretta said her husband's favorite food is beans wow please follow your husband though pgp very good peas very good beans legumes are generally good okay adobe legumes are generally very very good well i don't know how many eggs you should eat a day oh, they have to <laughs> all these ones they bring all those blanket rules they have to check your so many things about you and then check how many eggs you should eat but i tell you now let me tell you one story i had there was one woman that was 103 years or 105 years she was still very strong she was not using glasses she was doing very well so they asked her what 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 have you been eating that made you live so long and so strong and she said she's been taking three eggs a day so let me now tell you <laughs> who asked that question glory glory she eats three eggs a day that woman that lived 105 years so you know what i'm trying to tell us is that moderation is important and there are some food that are clearly controversial so check how it is for your body and go ahead and enjoy yourself. I didn't say you should take three eggs a day. We are talking about probiotics. The probiotics is in Greek yogurt and it's very, very good in controlling diabetes. Very, very good in controlling, you know, heart issues. You know, they actually did a study and found out that yogurt consumption may be associated with lower levels of blood glucose and insulin resistance also. Number seven, you know, like I said, is Greek yogurt. It's very, very good for you. Number eight, nuts. Nuts are delicious and nutritious. All types of nuts contain fiber and low in net carbohydrates. Although some may have more than others, you know. There are many, many nuts that are very good for us. Like almond nuts has just about 2.6 grams of carb. Brazil nuts, for those of us abroad, have about 1.4 grams of um, 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 carbs, cashew 7.7, .7, hazelnuts, you know, pecans, pistachio, walnut, like two grams. They are all very, very good. Actually, research on a variety of nuts showed that regular consumption may actually in reduce your inflammation and lower the, someone's blood sugar. It's very, very important and also help to reduce the low density lipoprotein. For me, I usually take nuts as my night snacks. Almond nuts, um, pistachio nuts, Brazil nuts, you know, pecans. I actually buy nuts from abroad. And then when I don't have them, I, I go on my cashew nuts or my peanuts or walnuts, you know, as my night snacks. Hello, Miss Sam Balogu. You're welcome. Good evening. Hi, it's Kutunuma. I hope Kutuni is doing very well. So number nine is broccoli. Broccoli is one of the most nutritious vegetables around. A half cup of cooked broccoli contains about 27 calories and 3 grams of digestible carbs along with important nutrients like vitamin C, magnesium and others. You know, studies of people who had um, diabetes, they, when they ate broccoli, they found out that the it helps to lower the insulin level and protect them against cellular damages that they could have. So also broccoli is important in managing your blood sugar level. You know, it helps the reduction of the blood sugar glucose level in the body. Then number 11 is extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. It's extremely beneficial for heart health. In fact, in my home now, it's only very olive oil i use in cooking if i'm cooking with low heat if the heat is high if i must cook or fry anything that's must too then i go on canola oil you know so extra virgin olive oil is very very good because it contains oleic acid a type of monounsaturated fat that has been shown to improve your glycemic management it reduces fasting and post-meal 
cyrites level and also it has an antioxidant property you know this is actually important because people with diabetes tend to have trouble managing their blood sugar level and they also have high triglyceride level so it's very very important that you go on extra olive oil sorry this phone is really <laughs> hey i forgot to put my phone on silent all right so oleic acid may also stimulate the fullness of hormone in the body so it's very very good for you to go on olive oil then 11 is flax seeds for those of us who can lay our hands on flax seed well you can juice um, um broccoli but i tell you taking it whole is important because of the fiber so even if you juice to take it use the fiber to maybe make like um swallow you know you can do broccoli swallow if you use xylem hot to take in it so eat the fiber eat the juice they are very important hello comfort thank you thank you welcome you're welcome so flax seeds are an incredible healthy food also known as common flax or lean seeds flax seeds have a high content of heart healthy omega-3 fiber and omega-3 fats and other unique plant components you know a portion of their insoluble fiber is made up of lignans which may help decrease heart disease risk and improve your blood sugar management flax seeds are fantastic they did some studies you know on clinical trial and found that a significant association between um flax seed supplementation and the reduction of glucose levels so flax seed actually help to reduce blood sugar from the studies that were done then 12 are apple cider vinegar apple cider vinegar has many health benefits also you know although they are made from apple the sugar in the fruit is fermented into acetic acid and then this results in producing you know content of just one grams of you know carbs per tablespoon so apple ciders are very very good you know it it, it also helps to reduce blood sugar response by as much as 20 percent when consumed with meals containing carbs apple cider are very very good another product that you can use that can actually lean lean you know when one is talking about reducing um the blood sugar response and, and reducing the meals that are containing fab there is one product that i i will advocate and i will ask everyone who is overweight but who doesn't have energy to do <laughs> who doesn't have energy to go on you know all this dieting one product i will advocate for you if you're diabetic and you're overweight or you're obese or you know you need to lose weight go and get forever lean forever lean is fantastic hello ij chide suzoma you're welcome gozi meke you're welcome chinenye blessing zelu you're welcome how can you eat flax seeds flax seeds come in different ways they, some some of them come as snacks there are some that they packet as snacks there are some you can get and also blend and use as a powder to take but most of them come as snacks they even have flaxseed oil i'm answering and chinenye's question so forever lean can also take the place of apple cider for you you know they also have very very good healthy properties they are antimicrobial they are antioxidant effects you know so if you like want to eat and you just take each meal you take you take like one or two capsules of forever lean you can either open it and spread in your food or you just swallow it like that it comes in capsule form so sometimes when i i travel and i must eat junk i will just hold this open up the capsule and i'll spread it on my food and it doesn't change the taste of your food but you it should be taken just as you're eating in fact, sometimes when I want to take it and I want to swallow it, as I put the spoon in my mouth, I'll open it and I'll take it. And it has 120 capsules. So this one lasts me a long time. Sometimes I'm using this container for two months, for three months, you know. But when I want to crash my weight, I use it for just like one month. I eat, take like four capsules every day. So it can also help you very, very well. All right. Oh, Chiku... I enjoy your teaching each time I listen. I learn a lot. Thank you so much. God bless you, Engine. 
yes you can you can chew flax seeds if you have the ones that there, there are some that are lightly toasted without adding anything you can chew it you can add it to your salad like you can when you finish making your salad you can just put flax seeds in your salad it will help you to take it it has that nuttish you know taste for it um i'm answering you or greeka i do say i blend broccoli with chai seeds and flax seed and use xylem husk to make swallow yes yeah, very very good yeah that's why i said even if anybody juices it make sure you use the chaff to make your swallow so that's very good adobe the name again for the forever forever lean forever lean is very very good it's a it helps to burn um the helps you to digest your the fat so that it will not become glucose and um, sugar in your body so forever lean is very 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 good for you it contains a unique fiber blend plus chromium for proper metabolism you know the two unique fiber in forever lean have been shown to limit absorption of calories from fat and carbohydrates in the diet like chromium has been shown to be helpful for proper metabolism of fats and protein so this is very very good is one product anybody that is overweight anybody that has diabetes should have okay all right so it's forever lean hetty how can you get forever lean my number will be on the screen now um ella ella busy my number will be on the screen now chat me is plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two and um mr shegu is going to pin it now I will tell you how you can get Forever Lean anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world, you can get it to your door post. Thank you, Adobe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, um, Vera. Good evening. You're welcome. You need Nature Mean, Angorika. Okay, Angorika needs Nature Mean. Let me have Nature Mean. Nature Mean is fantastic. Nature Mean has almost all the micro minerals that your body needs. And Nature Mean also has a lot of the mega minerals that your body needs so it's a good thing that you want uh, nature mean angry this is nature mean it's fantastic it's also good for diabetes good for ulcer good for you know arthritis it has a lot of micro and macro minerals that's not what i'm treating today so i won't be able to go through the supplement fats you know and i have just like four pieces that are still going for five thousand naira so i don't know maybe four people will be lucky to get the four pieces so I'm already, if you want to chat me on whatsapp so you will be one of those who will get the remaining four pieces okay and um, if your weight is 100 are you obese and can forever lean reduce your weight Ogrika, i am you can be 100 and be overweight you can be 100 and be obese but most people who are up to 100 are actually obese okay so, but if I know your height and your age, I'll be able to calculate your BMI and know whether you are overweight or, or um, obese. But Forever Lean definitely will help you lose weight, especially if you don't want to go on a crash diet program. So, it will take like a longer time. So, you take one bottle every month for like three months, you're going to lose those weights. Okay, Angry, you, you need a um, nature mean um all right hetty which one do you think that is good to lose belly fat well if you want to lose belly fat you can go on garcinia um forever Tham, forever limb and aloe vera gel okay it will help you and also pro b why pro b is important for belly fat losing belly fat is because it helps you control the bacteria in your gut because sometimes why you're not losing belly fat is because of all the cloggings in your colon and then your 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 digestive health is very very bad so active pro b helps you to have good digestive health okay yes mary as the most is asking for a better care can i have a better care very most is asking any vitamin for eyesight yes we have um we have forever a better care i call it the food for the eye I call the forever a better care the food for the eye. This is forever a better care. It has 250% of vitamin A, that is beta carotene, and it has 333% of vitamin E, and it also has like 36% of selenium. Very, very good for your eye. 
So Mary, that's what you need for your eye. All right, so let's continue. Number 13, strawberries. Strawberries are very, very good. Strawberries are very good. I don't want to go deep into strawberries. And then garlic. Garlic are also very, very good. Number 14, you know, even though it's tiny in size, it has very low calorie and it's incredibly nutritious. One clove, like three grams of raw garlic, has only just about four calories and it has magnesium two percent vitamin b6 two percent vitamin c one percent selenium one percent fiber it also has fiber you know rechassis show that garlic contributes to improved blood sugar and glucose management and can also help regulate your cholesterol so i always advocate garlic time for people who have high blood pressure people who are diabetic it's always good for you to take um, garlic. Garlic is very, very important. Squash or ang, I don't know what they call it in Yoruba, but I know in Igbo, they call it ang squash. They have many varieties of them. They are one of the healthiest vegetables around. And they usually come out during rainy season. They are out now. Ang, they, are, they call them squash, okay? They have dense filling food and very low in calories. And they have very low you know, glycemic index. They are very, very good. And um, they come out um, during these rainy seasons when they are planting. I don't know their names. Anybody that knows the name in Yoruba can help me, please. Hello, Kemi. Good evening, Kemi. You're welcome. Welcome, Emanuela. Good evening. Uh, Benedicta, you need the forever lean. I can't say the price there. Yeah, I don't even have it off head. Um, chat me on WhatsApp and I'll be able to tell you the price. And I'm going to give it a 20% discount also. So squash is number 15. Um, like most vegetables, squash contains beneficial antioxidants. Squash also has less sugar than actually sweet potato. So people who want to um, say that sweet potato is yeah, sweet for them that are diabetic, you can go on squash. So it's a very good alternative for sweet, sweet potato squash. They are, they are on the same um, grade with um, sweet potatoes, but they have less sugar. You know, pumpkin polysaccharides improve insulin tolerance and also decreases the level of serum glucose that are in, in, in the body. So that, and you know that um, um, squash are also pumpkin, okay? They help with glycemic management. Okay, let's look quickly look at some snacks. Some of these foods will be mentioned that you can actually use for snacks. The snacks that are good for controlling diabetes. That's what we are going to now. Uh, Oluya Missy is asking, how often can one be taking garlic? Day or size or number of cloves? Well, um, if you take too much garlic, it's not good. It's not good. Too much garlic is not good. So if you're taking maybe like um, um, in a whole day, no matter what you're eating with it, putting it in your food, putting it in your sauce, putting it in your smoothies, chewing it for those of you that choose it, I don't know the size to show you. Do we have garlic here? <laughs> we have, do you have a small clove or that big one? Okay, bring the big one. I'll use it as a sample for you. Let me show you. Oh, Imanela says she has collected her gifts. We know that on the day we launched the book, we said people should invite people to come in and join us. And when they come in, they should say that I was invited by... So Emanuela won the game of the day and she won Blossom Tea. So she has gone to collect her Blossom Tea. Yes, very, very good. Oluwayemi, see, very, very good. Cookie potatoes with beans together. They are very good. It's very, very good. I love beans and potato actually. But I don't know if I cook them together. So I have a very big... I bought this from Germany. <laughs> I actually bought a lot of garlic, but I didn't finish them. So I came back with this. And I've been traveling since. I've not um, finished them. So if you are to take garlic a day, you know, the total, this is a very, very big um, clove of garlic. That's why I was saying, you might not know. I won't begin to tell you this is the quantity because this is very, very big. So I believe that half of this, you shouldn't take more than half of this a day, which is like uh, one of the average ones you will find in Nigeria, okay? It's like one of the average ones you will find in Nigeria. So let's look at snacks, best snacks for controlling diabetes. Choosing healthy snacks can be difficult when you have diabetes. You know, but the key to choose your snacks 
is number one, choose snacks that have high fiber. Two, ha snacks that have high protein and healthy fats. You know, these nutrients will help keep your blood sugar level under control. So it's also important that the snacks you're choo choosing should be nutri nutrient dense food that can promote your overall health. So let's just go through some of those snacks. Number one, hard boiled egg. Hard boiled egg are super healthy snack for people with diabetes. You know, their protein content really makes them shine. One large hard boiled egg provides six grams of protein, which is helpful for diabetes because it keeps your blood sugar level from rising too high after you have eaten. So you should take, go on hard boiled egg, okay? They also have low homoglobin A1C, which is a measure of long-term blood sugar control. So hard boiled egg is very, very important and very, very good for those who are diabetic. It's a very good snack. So put it as not what your number one snack. Then secondly is yogurt. If you take yogurts and berries, especially for those of you, Greek yogurt, if you can lay your hands on Greek yogurt and berries, they are very, very snacks that are friendly for you. First, they are, they are antioxidants in berries. We help reduce the inflammation and prevent damage to the cell and your pancreas. The, that is the organ. The pancreas, of course, you know, is the organ responsible for releasing hormone that lower your blood sugar level. You know, also, if you're taking yogurt with berry, they are a great source of fiber. Okay. They have a lot of fiber. And then yogurt is also known for its ability to lower blood sugar because of the probiotic that I told you that it has before. So yogurts are rich in protein and they are also well known for keeping your blood level sugar under control. So hard boiled egg, yogurt, very good for diabetic people with diabetes. Okay. Number three um, snacks that you can easily have is almonds. Almonds are very nutritious and they are very convenient snacks. Anytime I travel, if I go to US, I go to, um, what's the name of this shop? Costco. I go to Costco and I chatter almonds, you know, in their big bags. They last me for a long time. So if you have access to almonds, get your almonds. They are very good snacks because we just, research showed that they will help control blood sugar in people with diabetes. And it also helps to stabilize sugar, blood sugar, you know, because it has a lot of fiber, it has um, protein, and it has healthy fats in it. So it helps to control your sugar level. All right, Angelica, you will chat me after the live video. Thank you. Okay, chat me after the live video. Then number four are veggies. Vegetables that you can use as snacks, like cucumber, very, very good. Garden eggs, very, very good. All those veggies that you can use as snacks. Like this afternoon, I snacked on garden egg and peanuts, you know. I was hungry, but I didn't want to eat. I wanted to still remain light and agile. So I just took um, garden egg and peanuts. That was my snack this afternoon. They are very, very good. Avocado can also be a snack. You can use it, like I said, as your cream for salad. You can use it as smoothies. You can use it for your bread. You can actually just take avocado and eat it as snacks, you know. If you have diabetes, snacking on avocado may help manage your blood sugar level. The high fiber content and the monounsaturated fatty acid in avocado make them a diabetic friendly food so these factors will help prevent blood sugar from spiking up after meal if you take avocado as your snack then apples sliced apples if you take sliced apple with peanut or garden egg like i said with peanuts okay those are broad that you might not be able to find the kind of garden eggs that we have here you can use the uh, cucumber or you can use them um, apple and peanuts <laughs> for those of us from the east you know what i mean now uh? um angala no soji <laughs> oh thank you Hetty. Hetty say very informative you love my sessions thank you god bless you so angala no soji that's what the Igbos call it you know you can use your garden your apple and do your apple and your old soji apples are rich in several nutrients vitamin b vitamin c potassium and then peanuts provide significant amount of vitamin E, magnesium, magnesia, all of which are known to manage diabetes very, very well. So sliced apple with peanuts is a good snack that you can snack after food, you know. Then another good snack is roasted chickpeas for those of you who are out there, you know, 
they are they are like legumes also they are very very good roasted chickpeas are very very good for those who are out there and then um turkey roll-ups they are also easy snacks to make they are very very you know good for sandwiches they are very good you can actually use them to make your sandwiches and use them as your snacks of course for those of you abroad again cheese and whole grain crackers remember i'm still going down to nigerian foods i want to treat the international one and then we end with nigeria since we are in nigeria let's do a lejo for them for those of us from yoruba <laughs> hello uni so you're welcome yes olu yemisi is asking can she still get my book on ulcer yes you can still get the book on ulcer they will still drop the link on the page here so what you will do is scroll up and down you know even if it passes you scroll up and down and look for the ulcer book you will see it i still left it because people were saying hey it's because of money i don't know why somebody cannot just afford one thousand and five so i said let me leave it a little more on the 15th i will take it off and put the normal price there so it will be dropped on the link for you now, but not pinned. So scroll up and down so you can see it, okay? Yeah, me see. Vera is asking, I want to thank you for your advice on water therapy. Oh, thank you for thanking me. It helps me a lot now. I am free from overweight, consumption, eating, and not going to toilets. You don't know what God used you to do. Hey, yeah. Thank you, Vera. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Vera, for thanking me. It's my joy. It's my joy for middle-aged men and women to be in health, to prosper physically, prosper, you know, mentally, prosper health-wise, prosper financially, and prosper otherwise. That's what gives me joy. So I'm so, so happy for this um, comment, Vera. Let more come in. If my teachings and my products and my advice has helped you, please thank me so that uh, I'll be happy to do more. Uh, no, I don't have flax seed, Hannah. I don't have. <laughs> I don't have. But you see them in many shops. They are in many shops. You can even Google it. Where can I find flax seed? Then you put your city, okay? Good evening, Fumi. You're welcome. Long time. Yeah. <laughs> Long time, Fumi. So cheese and whole grain crackers are also very good for snacks for diabetic patients, you know? They are popular snacks and you can actually make them on your own, like I told us. Hey. Victoria, remind me, maybe on Thursday, let's do this our snack, okay? We are going to be doing snack on Thursday. Let me now pin it down. I don't think I'm going anywhere. I'm not traveling. So we'll try to do some healthy snacks, crackers that you can actually take. So, you know, they are very good if you have diabetics. You know why crackers can be high in carbs? The fat in the cheese and the fiber in the cracker may prevent them from spiking up your, your sugar level. So they are not among the priority snacks you should take. But if you can't help it, if you have other unhealthy snacks, you can go for this if it's among them, okay? Now, tuna salad is fantastic. Tuna salad is made by combining tuna with mayonnaise. You can use avocado and other ingredients such as celery and onions, okay? So make tuna salad, use your avocado with your vegetables that are healthy. Tuna is also rich in omega-3 fatty acids like I told us. So it actually helps to manage diabetes also then you have the chai seed pudding for those of you abroad we are not here chai seed pudding is very very good black seed black bean salad is also good you can combine some seed, like kidney beans black beans several beans to make your salad then you use your avocado to you know put it as cream you can put your flax seed in there and you have it there's another very fantastic um snack that you can have which is my number 14 here it's um akidi for those of us who are from the east i don't know the the yoruba name akidi or edemem um beans they are like green soya beans that are unripe all those very tender beans that they they normally plant i know that during rainy season when yam is coming out they take it a lot in in the east they are very nutritious and they are very convenient snacks they sell them in the north too one time i went to boko i saw they made snacks with them they are very very good you know they can actually help improve improve your insulin resistance and then um, actually leads to leading to a consistent you know um level of blood sugar for you they are very very fantastic <laughs> you need to say good food this morning ah look at all the good stuff you have mentioned in mommy ah, ha, ha. 
it's not all of them that is expensive now. A kidney is not expensive, even though when they dry their kidney, a kidney can be expensive. Egg, uncle, egg is here now. <laughs> you did so. You're very funny, you yeah. <laughs> anyway, you can try some egg muffin. Egg muffins are also good. I, there was a period, you know, I was really going for egg muffins or egg, you know, you know how I do my vegetable egg muffins. You will get your egg, beat your egg, cut ogu, cut your ogu very, very well, eh? And mix it with your with your your egg or any vegetable, green vegetables that you like. You can then put them in your egg teas and you bake them or you steam them a while and they become big or you can use little olive oil, put olive oil, put it in your frying pan and it comes out good. You know, the main benefits of this diet friendly food are the protein from the egg and the fiber from the vegetable. So eating this may help keep your blood sugar very stable. So egg muffin recipe, you combine like egg, bell, bell, bell pepper, onions, ogo or spinach if you are abroad, if you can lay your hands on spinach, and then some seasoning. I use pepper and onions a lot in my home, and I just beat everything together. And I use very small olive oil, put it in a small um, saucepan, and lower the heat very, very much. And allow it to but it's fantastic i use it for sweet potatoes you can use it for squash or pumpkin it's fantastic they are very very good snacks you know that can help you okay blessing says i normally snack on tapioca people from delta know it yes tapioca is very good like now this is maize season when you get sweet corn like or maize you know and eat it with the whole fiber it's also a very good snack Ube, we're going to come to that. Ube no oka. <laughs> Don't mind me. Oh. You know, I'm coming from Owere. <laughs> when they were taking me past, I was going to preach. You oh. see me that I was going to preach. It's not me to be looking at my Bible like this. I was looking at the street. I saw Ube no oka. I told the boy, you know, the guy that was driving me, that when we're coming back, you see this Ube no oka. We are branching there. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry, my blossom tea good for ulcer patients. Sorry for no, yes, it's good. It's okay. Blossom tea is good. It's okay. It's very, very good for diabetic patients. It actually helps in reducing diabetes. It's good for ulcer patients. It's good for people who are having sleep disorder. Let me have one blossom tea. Let me show us um Emanuela's gift. Emanuela is very good for ulcer. Take it after or during your meal. It will help you. It's very, very good. Uh, well, um, wheat is okay. Whole wheat is okay. But remember that wheat has gluten. So for people who are who who shouldn't take gluten, wheat is not good. I'm answering um for Lashade's question. Whole meal wheat, the one they've grounded with the chaff, everything is okay for diabetic patients. But millets, sorghum are better than wheat. Okay. Because I think uh, millet is gluten free, but wheat has gluten. Okay, oh yeah, thank you, thank you for this. Oh <laughs> yeah, don't mind you. Good food, care. <laughs> Good food, though. So Emmanuel, uh, uh, Remy, uh, look at me. You can go ahead and have your your blossom tea. This is the blossom tea she wants. It's very good for diabetic patients, actually. Blossom tea is very very good. It's good for those who are having sleep disorder. It's fantastic. If you're tired and you need to sleep very deeply and wake up refreshed, blossom tea should be a key for you, you know. So that is Emanuela's gifts that she got. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, patient say thanks so much for your great nutrition message. Is corn and ube okay for Weight Watchers? <laughs> yes, if you take it as um, a meal or a snack that would make you not to take meal. Not when you finish loading ubenoka, one full plate of ubenoka. You now go and pound some gari again, okay, patient? So take it as your meal. Maize has fiber and the, 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 the um, fat in pear is very good. It's like avocado also. Thank you, Emeta. Emeta said, well done. well done. Hello, Margaret. You're welcome. Oatmeal is also good. Yes. Toshanwu, me... Oatmeal is good. It's very, very good. But of course, always remember what I always tell us. Watch your, watch your, your moderation, portion control. Hey, I can't believe it's four minutes. 
Uh, I won't be able to take the last portion of this broadcast, though. We have to move it to Thursday. Because if I start it, it's another 20 minutes and we need to go. Okay? My staff need to close, though. Oat milk is good. So let me answer your questions. On Thursday, we will start with... We're going to start with best Nigerian food to eat or to avoid if you have diabetes. So next Thursday is for Nigerians. So on Thursday, we are going to take best Nigerian foods that you can eat or you can avoid if you have diabetes, okay? Because we just have three minutes or four minutes to go. So I won't be able to, to go through it. It's quite a lot. We have over 50. So I'm going to be sharing with you those food. I'm going to be sharing the recipes with you. And then we will do our biscuits. Don't forget to. So we'll do all this on Thursday. Make sure you join us on Thursday. We are looking at best food best nigerian foods to eat to and to avoid if you have diabetes and then we are going to do a recipe of that you can do with whole grain series just your series that you're taking how you can turn it into a snack you can eat that will be healthy for you okay all right that's what we're going to do oh Priska, say i love you mommy well done thank you Priska. love you too Oh, you're just coming in, Margaret. Uh, just watch the replay. We are even closing now. Watch the replay, okay? Yes. Oluya Missy blows on tea without milk. You can just use honey at most. You don't need milk here. It's the, the aroma is fantastic. The, the, the taste is something else. This is one of the best tea on earth. And I'm telling you that. I miss it a lot anytime I don't have it. Oh, you remain blessed also, Angie. You remain blessed. Yes, Adobe, on Thursday, 5 p.m., Thursday, 5 p.m., we're going to be taking best Nigerian foods to eat or to avoid if you have diabetes, and then we're going to be doing a snack. I'm going to show you how I will use my cereal, my whole grain cereal with nuts that are inside and everything to do a snack. I'm going to show you that. Oh, Hetty say, I appreciate you. I appreciate you too. Well, Joy, Joy, thank you, thank you, Joy. Joy is one of my real good customers. She's always getting products. So let's buy the product. So if you're asking me for a combination of supplements you need for diabetes, I'll tell you aloe vera gel, fields of green, ginkgo. Okay, let me do upstairs. <laughs> this upstairs must not follow. <laughs> Are you seeing my upstairs? So I have ginkgo, fields of green, aloe vera gel, probiotic, and what? And then RTC. This upstairs was not for. <laughs> All right. So this is your. This is your. What? <laughs> I'm doing Lego. <laughs> Lego like children. So these are your diabetic supplements that are very good for you. I've done Lego with them. What time on Thursday? Chuku Ekwen Gozi, 5 p.m. God bless you too. Thank you so much, Ajoke. Thank you, Adobe. So for those of you who need supplements that can help your, that can actually help your, you with diabetes, with sugar control, these five are fantastic. But if you can't afford the five, I can remove Ginkgo. You can take these four, okay? They are fantastic for controlling your sugar level, making sure you don't have secondary issues with your arteries or, or heart issues or cardiovascular issues. If they are fantastic that can help you all right thank you for joining me again today and remember all diabetic products are on 20 percent discount for anyone who wants any of the products i've shown you today you they are at 20 percent discount thank you patient so chat me on my number that is pinned on the screen and get your products answer your questions buy your books god bless you bye